anchors up, sells it full. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing all right, Jared. We are rolling through here. We got a lot to talk about in week six of Collegiate Chaos. How are you doing, Jared? Oh, man. Chaos feasted. Oh, chaos feasted. Feasted so much that we have six. Six Team Chaos alerts here this weekend. Uh, well, let me, I mean, let, I, let, I, I don't know. All right, let me, let me, let me. All right. All right. Four. Four. We, we got four. four. We got four. four. We got four. <laughs> we got, we four. got four. All right. Let, let, let's start from the top here. The Red Rivalry. Red River shootout. Rivalry. <laughs> red, red Rival River. Rival Shootout well, in the Red Rival River Shootout Showdown Rivalry. That's what it's called, right? Did I nail that? Uh, what, yeah. what, Texas yeah. loses to Oklahoma. Uh, it's, it's, it's a nailed it. Thank you. Texas loses to Oklahoma. Um, the team with the best win uh, now becomes the team that is having the best win against them. Did I say that well, too? I'm on a roll tonight, y'all. I am on a roll tonight. I'm I'm speaking coherently. Uh, yeah, uh, Texas loses to Oklahoma. Uh, Nailbiter right down to the wire. Uh, Red River rivalry, um, which is my second favorite RRR of the season. Uh, is... I, it very rarely disappoints. I don't want to say it never disappoints, but it very rarely disappoints. Uh, this game was was no exception. Um, Texas takes their first loss on the year. Oklahoma picks up uh, a signature win, which I there's not a lot of teams in college football right now, in my opinion, with true signature wins. So huge, a huge, huge win. Not just, I mean, for Oklahoma, sure, but. But also for Brent Venables, uh, this is probably his burst burst, his first big signature win as a as the head coach at Oklahoma. Um, yeah, huge. I absolutely. Yeah, I definitely I definitely think so, especially after last year. Uh, last year's rivalry game did not go too well, if you recall, Jared. Yeah, no, I, I remember when I said the Red River rivalry <laughs> always delivers. Well, I mean, it didn't really deliver last year. Now, did it? Um, no. but most of the time it delivers. Yeah. No, I, I'd say, yeah, this definitely his, uh, his biggest win, um, back at Oklahoma here, but yeah, it is Oklahoma for real here. Maybe, maybe, maybe is, 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 is this, a, is the Oklahoma team we saw now who they really are or are they the team that barely beat Cincinnati, barely beat SMU. Eh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right. The other game here, Notre Dame. Notre Dame playing with fire and uh third t- third time is the chart. Tr- well, actually let me rephrase that. <laughs> um yeah, they played with fire last weekend against uh against Duke here and they did so again here against Louisville, and Louisville had some more offensive um, power to to pull up the the big upset here. And honestly, like Notre Dame has a big issue when it comes to their offense. And I thought I thought coming into the season that Notre Dame would be able to score quite a few points here, and they they just they're just struggling, and it, it just. It's just mind boggling. I'm trying to figure out like what is going on with Notre Dame and why are they not dominating the way they should? They they, they got a very they got a very talented uh, team here, very um, experienced team as well. We, when you listen to us talk about Notre Dame uh, in the Know Your Enemy episode, talked about how many seniors and how many graduates are on this team too. Like you, you would expect this to be a very solid team here, and they're just 
or just not getting it done. Yeah. Um, what he says, Notre Dame looked exhausted and no wide receivers hurts. I, I think that's a excellent observation. Uh, Nomad says you expect a D minded coach to score. Hey, it happens sometimes. Venables beat Oklahoma at least. Um, Again, shitty defenses, they're dominant on offense. Yeah, I mean, that's, it helps. <laughs> we broke them. We didn't help. Um, we did not help. They're, they're exhausted, and then they have to, are they going to California next week, Kyle? Or are they, mm, no? No. USC is coming to Indiana. That, I guess, helps at least. Um it's a semi early game too, which is always beneficial for the Eastern team. So that will also help. Yeah. So this will be their, this upcoming game here. Oh, this will I be didn't know that. Fourth, Nomad. This will be their fourth prime time game in a row. Their fourth uh, game against a ranked team in a row. Mm-hmm. No, Notre Dame, uh, they, they were not anticipating Louisville and Duke, Duke to be yeah. <laughs> good teams when they made this schedule, uh, for sure. It's yeah, it's 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 a devastating run that Notre Dame has to endure. And um, they weren't ever going to make it out of this unscathed, although Louisville wasn't. Uh, I on was my one list as a yeah. <laughs> team that was going to hand them a second loss. Yes. Right. Um, third game here, Washington State uh, loses to UCLA, future Big Ten UCLA, twenty-five to seventeen. By the way, Kyle, if you look at the AP top ten right now, every team except Florida State is either. Uh, current or future Big Ten or SEC. And we all know Florida State's not long for the ACC either. So. Yep. Yep. Pack cannibalizing itself as always. Well, a lot of those teams are pack. I mean, they're just future Big Ten pack. Didn't think Wazoo would lose to UCLA. Oh, uh, the Vegas did. I mean, it wasn't, it was like two and a half points, but uh, Vegas did have UCLA favored in this game. Uh, yeah, two and a half. Yep, you're right. Uh, but yeah, the Washington State was never real. I, I, I never thought they were all that real. Um, whatever, we move forward. Uh, Oregon State will fall next. It's fine. These aren't actually good teams. But then again, there's a lot of teams in the AP top 25 who aren't actually all that good. So what are you going to do? Um, Speaking of team, top 25 teams, is not not that good. Miami. Oh, God. What is Miami doing not kneeling the ball? And cost them the game to lose to Georgia Tech here. And here's they should a funny have kneeled thing. The ball. They should have kneeled the ball. They should have kneeled the ball. That oh. being said, the Miami running back was down. Okay, but even let's back up even for that. This is deja vu. Yeah. Because he did the same thing in Oregon. He sure did. Did the same thing in Stanford. Uh, ended up scoring a touchdown, bringing it to overtime. I, I forget if it was one or two overtimes here, but Stanford won it in overtime against Oregon. Like, come on, take the knee. Bend the knee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I mean, but also the running back was down. I, I think, I think it was, I think by that late hour, it may have just been Duncan and I still in the discord. Duncan from the discord, uh, but we're still in the social screen. And I was like, yeah, this is over. This is over. He's clearly down. He's clearly down. This is over. And then they said the call stood. 
I thought his I thought he was clearly down. I thought his forearm I mean, was clearly down. I don't know if it would we could make that assumption that he it was down, but I don't think there was clear video evidence that, I disagree. His, that it was armed down. Okay. I disagree. I think it was clear video evidence. Obviously, um the the referees disagree with me. That's fine. But either way, Miami loses. Miami loses here, and that that's another that's another uh, team chaos moment. Hey, we we uh, had we had two straight weeks previous to this week without a true chaos moment, and then we made up for it this week with four. October, man. When October comes around, I'm um, when October comes around here. All right, and other games here. Uh, somehow Missouri was ranked higher, and they're actually still ranked, but they and they lose to uh, LSU. 49 to 39. It was actually like a three point game. Uh, yeah. But Missouri threw that pick six with like 20 seconds, 30 seconds left there. So that right. 10 point game was really closer than what it really seemed to be. But I, I think, I think in the AP, I'm trying to look at real quick. I think they pretty much just swap spots. <laughs> I think they just swap spots there. Uh, Texas and yeah. Oklahoma, I think basically swap spots too. Oh no! No, Missouri, Missouri did not. Um, they 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 just uh, ranked out. They're like just a few points away from from twenty five there. But either way, AP doesn't matter. But it's fun to talk about still. Uh, and then the other one uh, ranked Fresno State losing to Wyoming. Okay. Oh gee, I had all of my hopes tied up in Fresno State. All right, let's talk about some of the other games here. Um, Georgia. Georgia finally has their complete game of the season. Just dominating Kentucky 51 to 13 in this game. Yeah, and, you know, say what you want to say about Kentucky. I, I think they were, you know, appropriately ranked as the 20th team in the country. I think that's a fair place to have them. Um is Georgia overrated? Uh, at l n no one's, no one's good. Uh, no one's great anyway. Everyone, everyone's flawed. Everyone bleeds. Um, but Georgia looks like they're starting to put some things together. Um, uh, Maryland should have been ranked. Nomad. Uh, I mean, in Kentucky's not even first on my list of teams who should have been who I would have taken off to put Maryland on. Uh, there, there, there are and were worse teams in the top 25. Um, I, Missouri or LSU <laughs> would be, would be decent examples. Well, Maryland speaking of teams, Kentucky. I, I think they, I think they would. I think they yeah. beat Missouri too. Mm hmm. Uh, speaking of teams uh, playing a complete game, Michigan has their complete game against a really, really bad Minnesota team, uh, 52 to 10. Maryland wouldn't have been that close if not for a long snap that was botched. It didn't it didn't help for sure. Uh, Maryland, yeah, Maryland, uh, Maryland only had three, really three good drives. That game, we uh, you, Just you, can, you can you can listen to our Monday episode if you want to hear us talk about that. Um, the yeah, Mi Michigan looks like they're maybe starting to put some. Of course, Minnesota is like outright terrible. Um, Minnesota is an outright terrible football team. Um, that that has to be said. Like this this has this this has to be flex last year in Minnesota. It has to be. They're terrible. Um, and by the way, just to go back real quick, Miami losing to Georgia Tech and Michigan uh, reminded me of this because Michigan struggled in the first half against Bowling Green. Um, but Ohio State fans get mad when Ohio State struggles in the first half against Maryland. M Michigan struggled in the first half against Bowling Green. But at least they weren't Georgia Tech who lost to Bowling Green. This is the team that beat Miami. And by the way, like, no, Bowling Green isn't actually all that good. Well, maybe, maybe Bowling. No, they're they're losing to other Mac schools. They're not that good. 
Um, Michigan quarterback threw the ball. Excellent to Michigan. Yeah. Michigan had two defensive touchdowns in this football game. Um, Yeah, it's bad. Minnesota is very, very bad. Uh, Yes, the boat has sunk. For all for all the giffers in the chat, the the boat has has absolutely sunk in Minnesota. Uh, Let's move on to some of these other games because we do have to uh, give our rankings here. So just quickly going through the other games here. Florida State uh, takes care of business, um, had a hot start in the first quarter and kind of cruised on and beat Virginia Tech um, by 21, 22 points. USC had to go into triple overtime to beat Arizona, 41 I, I wish I had stayed up for that. I, don't know, I actually don't wish I had stayed up for that game. <laughs> I don't even want to know it. This is why the pack. This is why the Pac-12 network has failed. The Pac-12 network has failed the Pac-12. This game, yeah. This game, yeah. well, Kyle, this was the only game. The Pac-12 had some good games yesterday. This was the only game not on the Pac-12 network. There were only four Pac-12 games yesterday. Three of them were on the Pac-12 network where nobody has access to them. And the one game that was on an actual watchable television network kicked off at 1030. Complete garbage. Right, um, Alabama, Alabama uh, beats Texas A&M twenty six to twenty. It seems like a, it seems like Texas A&M always gives Alabama a run for their money. It seems. Uh, I mean, Texas A&M has a lot of talent on that team. Um, they're not good at putting that talent together, and they're not well coached. Uh, but there is a lot of talent on that football team. Um, is what it is. Yep. A and M is mid. They're a mid football team with high end talent. It's very frustrating to watch as someone who likes football. Like there's high end talent on that team, but they just don't put it together. Everybody is giving Bama Bama a run for their money this year. Spikes exactly. What you doing? What you doing, Jimbo? What you doing over there? Failing. Right, um, Failing yeah. is what he's North, doing. North Carolina uh, cruises past Syracuse. Uh, Oregon State beats a California Cal in a shootout, fifty-two to forty. A game that no Ole one Mi- saw. Nope. Yep. Ole Miss. Ole Miss um, squeaks out a win against Arizona, twenty-seven Arkansas? to twenty. What did I say? You said Arizona. <laughs> That's the team that USC squeaked out a win against. Yes, Arkansas. You're you're you're, you're confusing your um Yeah. 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 You're confusing your Lane Kiffin teams. Yeah. Um, Northwestern beat Howard. <laughs> and I win Purdue Howard, and I win Purdue hit the under. 34. Listen, some of us cared about some of us cared about Iowa and Purdue hitting the under. Some of us cared. <laughs> Don't forget about Colorado barely beat another shit Pac-12 team. Yeah, here's they the didn't. thing. No they one didn't. saw the game. Because it was on the Pac-12 network. And by the way, because oh the Pac-12 my God. network sucks. And here's the other thing. Here's the other thing. And this is the happy, the happiest thing from yesterday, the apps or from Saturday, the absolute happiest thing was that Clemson barely won against a shit football team and no one even cared enough to notice. No one even noticed because Clemson has fallen to such irrelevancy that no one even cares that they barely won a football Good. game Good. against a shit football team. How did Iowa win this game? 
They're Iowa. They always find a way to win games without actually scoring points. It's what they do. It's in their blood. Oh, Deacon did, Hill, yeah. six for 21, 110 yards. I see he has a, he has a QBR of two. Point oh. <laughs> the Big West is ter- is horrible. It absolutely is horrible. I can't believe they threw it 21 times. Spikes, one excellent observation. Two, that's your takeaway. <laughs> Oh, man. Kyle, let's get to the rankings. All right. Yep. Oh, we got some teams to move around here, Jared. And first off, we let's do. start. Let's start with the um, the horn in the room here. Uh, the Longhorns. Yeah, they get dropped down to A. They get dropped down to A. And oh, I will dare say. Who replaces them? I, it, it's got to be Georgia. I, I think Georgia hmm. look. I think Georgia looked at looked the part this last week here. I think they looked the part here. I think Georgia goes goes up to the yes tier. What about Oklahoma? They, they're they're right on the cusp. They're right on that cusp there. But I'm I, I'm putting Georgia because up there. Georgia hasn't beat anyone. That's why. The question, why isn't Georgia R? Why? I, I don't, they don't get to be an S tier just because they won the national championship last year. Look at their schedule. They haven't beaten their best win by far is Kentucky. That's every other team in the S so, tier. So, so the other, had, the other had that, a win against a top flight opponent. So the other thing that we, we grade, grade them on is how they looked as well. And Georgia did not look like, a great team. They one, the resume did not look all that great. And two, w- which I can give them a pass if they looked great against those teams and they didn't overall. But so Oklahoma has a top flight win. They have a top flight win. And th- all right, that, all right, that's, let's go, let's, let, let's, let's go through the teams here. So Georgia, I think Georgia goes up to S tier here. I disagree. Oregon. Listen, uh, do we agree that Ohio State, so, Florida State, and Oregon remain in S tier? Well, that's that, 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 that's a tough thing to talk about when you have someone who hasn't who is on a bye week here. Huh. Because you got you got other teams who played who played um who played really well Georgia I'm I'm just going to stick with Georgia here Georgia played very well against a you can argue that Kentucky shouldn't have been ranked or whatever they're not as good as they are but they they look they look the part of what they should be here and and I think I got to give them credit for that here or we give Oklahoma credit. For beating the number three team in the country, who, who Kyle, according to our rankings, was the number one team in the country. You and I agreed unanimously that we we had Texas at number one. Oklahoma beat our number one. Georgia doesn't have a signature win. Michigan doesn't have a signature win. No, the only teams with signature only the only undefeated teams with signature wins in the country right now are Oklahoma, Ohio State, Florida State, and Oregon. What, who, who did Oregon beat? Who, who, who did Oregon beat, Jared? Okay, that's a fair point. Listen, we, 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 we kind of slid them in. We kind of slid them in because we didn't really, there was only, there was only three teams. So here's, here, here's my ranking. Here's my ranking. I got because the S S tier we we rank them one through four there then the A B and C is whatever one one is Georgia two is Ohio State three is Florida State four is Oklahoma absolutely not absolutely not the, the, Georgia doesn't have a signature win 
it's better than better than better than uh Oregon, better than Michigan, better than Penn State. But why are you sl- why are you slotting them all the way up to number 1? We had them not in S tier. And then you want to slot them all the way up to number 1 because of their performance and how they looked this last Kentucky. weekend. Hockey. How, how how did you and I go lockstep in our decision making independently last week on a basis of rewarding teams with signature wins, and then you completely abandoned that one week later? That's just... illusion for a better show. Spikes, I wish we were that organized. All right, so so I gave my four. What's your four then, Jared? I would put. I I, I don't really care between Ohio State and Florida State at one and two. Um. I. To me, Ohio State picked up a win against an undefeated team. Uh, Florida State looked fine again the 39 to 17 doesn't really tell the story they really beat virginia tech better than that but it's also not an impressive win at all virginia tech's terrible so i'm gonna put ohio state one i'm gonna put florida state at two i'm gonna bump oklahoma up to three and then like we can have an argument about number four if you want to move georgia up into four i would i would because they have a because Kentucky win is better than Oregon's Colorado win. Did they look better in it? Because Oregon uh, was utterly dominant in the win against Colorado. Georgia was utterly dominant against Kentucky. Not. I mean, the utterly dominant is a sliding scale and Oregon is higher up on that sliding scale. The Colorado didn't belong on that football field with them. And it, it is worth noting that, although undeservedly, uh, Colorado was ranked 17th at the time. Texas loss in a great game is better than Georgia's win. I don't disagree with that, Woody. I mean, Kyle, I'm willing to like. <laughs> that is SEC talk. Texas is in the SEC starting next year, so it works. Um, I mean, I'm willing to compromise with you on this and put Georgia at four and slide Oregon down into A tier. But I'm not putting Georgia at number one without a signature win. That is simply not happening. I, I just I just have a hard time having Ohio State one because they don't look like the best team in the country. No one does. No one but, looks but with, good. But with all the flaws that we talked about in the previous episode here. Sure. Georgia has an insane number of flaws, too. Georgia can't stop the run. Georgia, if they aren't throwing to Bowers, can't throw to anybody. And to Nomad's point, and also the point I've been making since the beginning of the season, Georgia hasn't played anyone who's as good as Maryland, let alone Notre Dame. The only offense they have is to throw the ba- is to throw to Bowers, and their defense is a sad, sad replication of their defense from last year. I thought their defense was pretty good last weekend. I thought they looked pretty good. They held Kentucky to under under 200 yards total of offense. Kentucky was rip. Kentucky was ripping them in the run game. Had unfortunately for Kentucky, Georgia went up so big so early points wise that they had to abandon the run game. But early in that game, in the first couple drives, Kentucky was ripping Georgia in the run game. I disagree heavily on that. 
I was watching the game. But again, the, the the game fell apart so quickly for Kentucky that they couldn't keep running the ball. Okay. So the stats aren't going to show some huge total for Kentucky because it's not there because they couldn't keep running the ball the way they wanted to keep running the ball because, again, Georgia went up so big so quickly. Kentucky had to start throwing. Right, or, or or just move on here. Just go and move. Just swap Georgia and, and Oregon for right now. Um, anybody else we that's in the A tier that should be moved, moved to the B or B on up. Uh, we've already moved Texas down to A, and I think that's appropriate. Um, we could definitely have a conversation. Let's go ahead and move. Let's move Georgia, Oregon State over here a bit. Uh, Washington State loses. You want to slide them down to B? I'm for it. I I, I never yep. believed in them to begin same, with. Same thing to well now Notre Dame here is a good I think, question. I think we I think I think we slide Notre Two Dame losses. all the way down to all the way down to C. C. I think we slide them all all the way down to C. Who is who has Notre Dame beat? Who has Notre Dame beaten? Duke. They they beat Duke, okay. And you're and you're talking about how bad how bad of a win that Georgia had over Kentucky. That Is that's Duke, a conversation about being in S tier, not a conversation about being in B tier. That's that's a different conversation. That's a different criteria. Spike says it. They're out of they're out of Mario men, which is why they're in B and not A. <laughs> that's why they're in C. B has a chance. Uh, I mean, S is in the playoff. A is the next tier out of the playoff. B is you're praying to God that you might be able to, with enough chaos, maybe well, get back in. Well, Notre Dame's going to C is going to the C tier next week anyway. We'll just keep them at B. If they lose the USC, we'll put them in the C tier. They're 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 going to C tier next week. I, right, um, U, USC can't stop three blind men from scoring a touchdown. I don't know what to tell you. All right. Uh, the rest of those in A tier are fine. I, th I think that's fine. No particular order. I think the rest of those are fine. Now, move anybody up there. Do you want to move Ole Miss up to A tier? It's a one, uh, one loss Ole Miss team here. I, if anything, I want to move them down after barely beating terrible Arkansas. Yeah, it's a one loss team there. So I, I think they keep them and keep them there at B. Duke uh, is also a one loss team. Uh, Utah is a one loss team. Uh, uh, Louisville go up to A. Louisville go up yeah, to A. I'm fine. Five with and that. O, five and O team. There's not many undefeated teams left in the country here. I'm fine. Utah with is that. not Utah is not an A. They do not look. They do not look the part. Uh, they, yeah, we'll talk about Utah today if they get rising back and if that fixes their offense. Yep. Um, Missouri can go can go back to C. Missouri can go back to C. Fresno State can go back to C. Maryland can go back to C. We're 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 emptying out the C or the B column here. <laughs> uh, it's such a it's such a loss of dignity when I move them back down to C because I have to make them smaller to do it. I think. I oh, totally... is rising coming back? I've ever right. heard. But, but rising coming back. I, I then need to see it. I, I then need to see, oh, look, their offense is in fact mm -hmm. now totally different and fixed and better with rising back. Like I'm not, I'm not going to move them up just because okay. rising's back. I need to see it. LSU, does LSU get out of the M, M tier? Why? They beat uh, a Missouri team that you and just I... Just asking. I know, and I'm, asking. I'm as, and I'm just asking. Okay. Why? They beat a Missouri team that we both agree had no business being ranked to begin with. That's fine. Anybody else you want to move to the B 
B tier here. That seems pretty. <laughs> uh, seems like we uh, removed about half the teams there. Yeah, we emptied them out hard. Um, Kansas, Kansas moves up to twenty third in the AP here. You want to move? You want to move the Jayhawks up? Um, Kansas is a one loss team. What's Top there? to the right. Yeah, no, that's that's not what I'm. Oh, you're looking at who they played. Yeah, they're a one loss team. Who did who did they lose to? Who have they beat? They lost to Texas. Yeah, their their best win, their best win is probably Illinois or BYU. Ah, uh, Maryland is still C. We just moved Maryland down to C. We had Maryland at B. Oh, you can't see the graphic. Fair enough. Honestly, I think this is fine here. I think this uh, is fine. So here, here's a question. Here's a question for you, Kyle. Do we get want to... Teams? What's that? I said get rid of teams, just delete them out of the, uh, no. <laughs> out of the chart here. <laughs> nah. Um, that's what C's for. Do we want to tighten down the restrictions of being A? Do we want... Because we, we emptied out B. Do we want to make A a more elite, more exclusive column and slide uh, some of the lesser A tiers down to B tier. Who, who, would, who, would, who would you move down? Oh, by the way, I think I just mistakenly put Louisville in A. They should be in no, B, no, right? No, we, no, we, we, no, we okay. said Louisville A. They just beat Notre Dame. And, and, and if you're putting Ohio State number one... Why would you not move Louisville up? No, that's fine. I'm not arguing against it. All right. Um, um, or Oregon stays A, Michigan stays A, Penn State stays A, Washington A, USC, despite their flaws, like like most of the teams here, stays at A. UNC undefeated stays at A. Texas is still a really good team, stays at A. Oregon State, whose best win is Utah, Without rising. Uh, without rising. Um, and they had that um, close close loss to um, Washington State. So, yeah, I, I think I think they stay at... You could convince me to put them in B, but I... But I think Alabama and, and Louisville stays at A, though. Okay, let's slide Oregon State down... Um, I mean, I, I think it's, if you have a loss, I think you, we, you really need to be able to make the case that you belong in a, if you have a loss, uh, Toledo, no, I'm not ranking Toledo. I'm not ranking JMU. Um, I mean, I, I probably should at least put, Hey, you know who is S tier? This guy. <laughs> no work in an empty house tomorrow. Yeah. Um, so I think this is good. So for the for the listeners here, uh, in the S tier we have Ohio State, Florida State, Oklahoma, and Georgia, and then in the A tier we have Oregon, Michigan, Penn State, Washington, USC, UNC, Texas, Alabama, and Louisville. Woody brings up an interesting point. Wyoming's only loss is close to Texas. Kyle, can you pull up the Wyoming schedule? Sure, give me one second here. Wyoming picks up a signature-esque or signature-ish win this weekend. Let's take a look at Wyoming. Fresno State, they just beat. Yeah, signature-ish win. A nine-point victory over New Mexico. Three, that be three the point, Aggies? Three-point three point victory over Appy State. Okay. Beats Portland State by 
14 and beats Texas Tech by two. Oh, and by the way, they lost soundly to Texas, 31 to 10. Yeah, no, I'm going to, I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. No. I'm going to pass. I think, I think that's it. I think, I think this is a good list here, Jared. Good list. I feel like we started so hot that I almost felt, I almost felt like I need to get into a fight with you about something else. I still, I still don't like our S tier, but we'll, but we're already 40 minutes in and we've got, we gotta, we gotta end it. I understand that Ohio State probably isn't the best team in the country right now, but I also don't know who is. That's, I think, my larger point there. You could make the argument that maybe Oklahoma should be one because I I would say of the undefeated teams, they have the best win. So let's let's look at this upcoming uh, this upcoming week here. Who has a chance to move move up or down here? Oregon and Washington. Oregon and Washington this weekend. I think the winner of that game could easily move up to uh, S tier. I think the winner of that game has to move into S tier. Uh, Miami and UNC play. We'll find out a lot about who UNC is here. Um, mentioned USC and Notre Dame earlier as well. Um, UCLA and Oregon State are playing as well. And those are the ranked on ranked teams for for next weekend. And an interesting game, and I'm not saying it just because I'm here in North Carolina. Uh, NC State and Duke this weekend as well. I'm sorry, did you say NC State and Duke? I did. Okay, that that is because you you live in North Carolina. No, like, no, no one not. no one cares about what the Wolfpack are doing this year. That that is a irrelevant football well, team. They didn't lose by that much to to Notre Dame. They only lost by three to Louisville. I, I just say just just keep an eye out for you. You may you may you may put up a you may put up a um, team chaos watch here next weekend i'm just saying just saying okay i'm gonna gonna throw wyoming into c tier before uh there is a riot in the chat we have some wyoming heads in here um and i i will at the very least god that is a very awkwardly sized ratioed logo i'm going to at least put them on the chart we have wyoming on the chart for everyone. Cal, you are correct. It matters. Duke is for real. No, no, I like Duke. My issue with thinking that game is relevant is not the Duke end of that football game. That's that's my point. We put Wyoming on the chart. Um, crisis averted in the chat. Um, I'm still not moving them into B tier, though. I put them on the chart. We'll see what happens. All right. I, th- I think that's good. I think this is a good, good, good place to leave off here, Jared. Okay. I was really not happy about S tier. I think he's mad at me, everybody. I think he's mad at me. I'm mad at him for for suggesting that Georgia should rock it all the way up to number one after beating a number 20 Kentucky who was overranked at number 20. Now, do you want to put Oklahoma at number one? Would that make you feel better? No. I'll slide Ohio State down to two, Florida State down to three, and I'll move Oklahoma up to number one. Would that make they 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 have the best win of any undefeated team in the country right now? They do, they do, but it's not just over. It's not just over one game. 
I mean, it kind of is in college football sometimes. It's five, six weeks into the season, you play a bunch of cupcakes and you have one or two good games. Sometimes it is about one or two games. This early in the season in college football, sometimes it is about one or two games. All right. Uh, Kyle's still just going to be mad at me, I guess. <laughs> I'm trying to compromise with you and you're pouting is what's happening right now. I'm not pouting. I'm just <laughs> I'm just waiting for you to end the episode here. We are 15 minutes over here. <laughs> let's let's go ahead and end it. All right. All right. All right. Tonight's ending music will be brought to you by uh, actually you have everything in Kyle's corner. Um, No, we're just we're just going to end it. Pouting. Tonight's ending music will be brought to you by uh, Madison Pruitt. Uh, she's an indie artist out of uh, the Cleveland area. So with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support local podcasters. Uh, once again, this is Madison Pruitt.